This is Victor Campos. Let's continue our HTML5 Android project. So far, the app itself looks nice and functions nicely. So it's coming along well. But let's deal with some of the issues that happen behind the scenes. Perhaps you get some warning signs or error signs in your project. For example, in mine, I've got these warning, these warning markers. Uh, we can check out what it's telling us down here. We've got a console panel and a problems panel. Uh, if you don't see a problems panel, you can get it from the window menu, show view, problems. And what this shows in my case is four warnings, zero errors, and zero others. So let's see about resolving these issues. We get uh, we get the the issue and where it's found in this case the android manifest.xml file of our project and then which line so you can double click any message and it'll open the appropriate file in this case android manifest xml that's what loads up here and that's what had the marker a moment ago so the android manifest file is a very important file that we'll be looking at again but this has a lot of the internal details of our application and at the moment there's four warnings technically these are not going to break your application but we should fix them the first one is uses SDK tag appears after application tag alright so the manifest file because it's complicated we can either look at it as a nice um, uh, visual interface notice we've got a manifest tab an application tab permissions instrumentation or we can look at the scary code like that so whatever changes we make in one of these pretty screens will basically be applied in code. But I'm going to make these changes in code uh, just to show you that it's not so complicated. So the first one, line 62. This is actually saying that this line of code should happen before the line of code that says application. How this got down there, I'm not sure. So I'm going to cut that, paste it before application along the same lines not targeting the latest version of Android this is saying that our code says use use version 17 of Android and I know I'm using actually version 19 how do I know that you can confirm that by right-clicking your project going to properties and then under the left side category go to Android and this says API 19 my code says 17, so I'll put that to 19. Let me save. All right, from four errors down to two. Next, we've got avoid hard coding the debug mode. Leave it, leaving it allows, leaving it out to allows debug and release builds to blah, blah, blah. So that's found here on line 51. It's saying maybe remove that Android debuggable. So I'm going to select that. Be careful not to select the angle bracket at the end. I want to delete that and make sure that the angle bracket is still there. Save. Down to one error. Should explicitly set Android allow backup to true or false? Well, all of this stuff is technical, isn't it? And you can get a little bit of help about what's going on if you right-click any of these warnings or errors, select Quick Fix, you'll get a screen that looks like this where basically it's ignore the issue cover your ears and ignore it or explain the issue if you select explain the issue and then finish it'll give you a little bit more documentation should explicitly set Android allow backup to true or false it's true by default etc issue explanation this determines if an application's data can be backed up and restored and it's documented here etc so I am going to now that I know a little bit more about that I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna follow the advice and so this is saying uh, on line 51 I will add Android colon allow backup capital B equals and then notice Eclipse is being helpful and it, as I start to type it may uh, help you to finish your, your your coding I will double click true so now I've got 
Um, oops, something happened here. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Maybe I should have single clicked instead of double clicked. Anyway, that should be Android Allow Backup. Uh, we'll say true and save. All my warnings went away. And I fixed all my problems so far in my app. If I run this on my real or virtual device, things should load up as normal. Things should behave as normal. And I'm getting closer and closer to finishing my project. Next up, what we need to do is actually create the file so that we can upload it to Google Play and start making money. So come back for that.